Cats that masturbate while watching you sleep. Secrets your pets don't want us to know. Are Asian people more sensitive to bright light or do they just look that way? France, still a dick. Are abortions gluten-free? Killing babies may shed some calories. Andrew Yang, food orgy exposed. It's a Yang gang mukbang gang bang. All this and more on Late Again. Good evening, and holy cow, welcome to Late Again News, I'm Anthony Zenhauser. Tonight's top story, with the ever-increasing surge of illegal immigration at its southern border, the U.S. government has developed a new plan to control the situation as well as satisfying the needs of its very own citizens. A new program called Emotional Support Mexicans will be undertaken within the next few weeks, pairing an illegal alien with an American who needs the most. These uneducated and otherwise unskilled foreigners will be given the task to accompany an emotionally sensitive citizen on planes, public eateries, and anywhere else that can create social anxiety. The program will relocate entire families of displaced Mexicans and Central Americans and will even include a special Haitian package for spouses left alone for extended periods of time. And on a real, real note, the folks here at Late Again News would like to take a moment to remember all those brave men and women soldiers who courageously gave their lives in the online first-person shooter games Call of Duty Vanguard and Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. If we can take a moment now to honor those courageous people who gave so much and sacrificed so much. Are we, are we, are we off? <laughs> Now on to sports, here's Les Younger. Take it away, Les. Hey there, sports fans. Welcome back to Les Sports. Sports show so fast-paced it would get pulled over for speeding, fail a breathalyzer test, and then get forced to do a drunk driving PSA. I'm Les Younger. Hey, you're right, Nick. That new intro covers all the bases. Tonight's episode is brought to you by Grandma Mabel's Home-Baked Pies. Remember, there's nothing better than getting your fingers all sticky in a nice warm grandma. Not only is a grandma sweet and tasty, she's also cheap and easy. Choose grandma and get stuck in her pie today. I tell you, Nick, I wish I knew about that a lot sooner. I wouldn't be banned from any uh, high school bake sales. A little advice from old Les here. Remember, if you're going to stick your finger in a chick's pie, make sure she's over 16. 18, Les. 18. Well, it's that time of year again. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Time to see which football team is supreme. And who's going to be this year? The Bills, the Pats, the Steelers? I'll tell you what, if you ask this sportscaster, you know what he says? Who gives a shit? In old Les's opinion, it's all about the gambling. The action on the field is nothing compared to losing all your son's child support money on a coin toss. That always puts a bee in my ex-wife's bonnet. Oh, Les, where's all the money? I don't know, you cold twat. Gave it to an Italian mongoloid so he wouldn't break my thumbs. Ah, f*** that bitch. She stole all my friends anyway. What more is she going to steal? I'm all alone, Nick. I got nobody. I'm going to be spending Super Bowl Sunday half naked from the waist down with a gun in my mouth. Still, those commercials are pretty good. You know, Doritos, right? <sighs> anyway, let's get to those Super Bowl predictions, Nick. You got 10 seconds. And we're out of time. Tune in next week for another episode of Less Sports. This is Less Younger saying, really, 18? Get my lawyer on the phone, Nick. This is lawyer. Again. 
In the last two years, the world has been under siege by an epidemic from China, a plague that has ruthlessly caused havoc and death all across the Western world. I'm talking, of course, about the emergence of the Hong Kong anus worm. These worms are a parasite that have invaded the Western world through toilet paper shipments from China. The worms then burrow into the anus of its host, laying eggs in the brain, resulting in host death or mental impairment. At this time, there seems to be no solution to eradicating this threat, but there have been measures taken by the CDC to flatten the curve of the infection rate. A newly designed anus shield protector, or ASPRO for short, have been mandated by most state governments to protect the passage of entry of the Hong Kong anus worm, making it harder to invade the body. The ASPRO is a four inch plug that is gently inserted into the anus, causing a barrier between host and parasite. Although there is substantial evidence that these ASPROs are effective in stopping the spread of infection, there are those who question its practicality and constitutional validity. Joining me tonight is one of those voices of opposition from the McCool Rules Show. Here is conservative podcast personality and free speech enthusiast, Channing McCool. Channing, it's nice to have you on late again. Uh, you just got back from a big trip, didn't you? Yeah, to the Adirondack Mountains, bow hunting for wolverines with Down syndrome. Huh? What? Do I want your take? No, I don't. I already know what it is. Don't need to. Big man hunting for wolverines that are retarded. It's not as easy as you think. A half a mile away, a quarter mile away. You can't tell if it's a retarded wolverine or just like a stupid bear cub. It could be a bipolar porcupine. It could be a depressed otter. We got to get close up. See. We don't use arrows, by the way. When I say bow hunting, it's just a bow. That's my weapon. I got to go in and mono it's hard to fight these things. So, yeah, it's uh, not that. And it's actually a pretty good core workout, which um, now that I'm looking at you, man, I think you could use it yourself. I'm fine, Channing. Thank you. Uh, let's talk about these new mandates. Don't you think the government is instituting these measures for the good of the American public? Seems that conservatives and the people on the right are having trouble wrapping themselves around an ass pro. Are you afraid that these ass pros just might be the thing that this country needs for some fulfillment? Right. Thanks for the label, by the way. Conservative, Republican. Here's the real deal. How about some science? There's no substantial evidence showing that these things work. In fact, the stats that I've seen personally with my own two eyes show that we're not getting results with these things. So, I mean, if you want to use an ass pro in the privacy of your, of your own home, fine with me. I don't care. I don't have any problem with that. But until there's proof, right, that we can push back on the spread with an ass pro, there's no reason to mandate them. I think you aren't looking at the big picture here. All right. Well, we need to remember these ass pros are new to us and we're just in an experimental phase with them right now. It's. It's a slow and hard process, but eventually an ass pro will effectively fill the void by pushing back on the spread. If you want to use an ass pro, use an ass pro. Fine. It's not up to me. It's not up to the government. It's up to you. See what I mean? See how you get to make that decision? It's up to the people, not the government. Most people don't want to do that. An average, you try to get an ass pro into your average American, you're going to have a lot more than pushback on your hands. You're going to have a big mess. Well, I think the average American is willing to risk the chance of there being a mess, even an explosion on the spread, if in time we feel good with these ass pros. I think it's going to be a very uncomfortable time at first, but eventually Americans will learn to enjoy the experience, even going as far as requesting ass pros, even if it isn't expected of them. Yeah, bottom line is they're just not that practical, though, really. I mean, you're going to take an ass pro in the bathroom with you? Well, i got to take your sh you know, you yank out my ass, bro. How is that protecting you at this point? Well, first off, you can't say in this program. And of course you have to take it out when you take a shit. Don't be ridiculous. You don't want to take a an ass, bro. It won't want to go back in there if you do that. Dude, you big organizations are all the same. All you big news, fake news, bullshit, legacy media, mainstream ass organizations. You're all the same. You really are. You're literally trying to get people to stick things into their ass for your agenda. F you. I find that offensive, sir. I'm a journalist looking out for the American people of this nation. How dare you? I got nothing more to say to a homophobic Nazi who hates black people. Chris, cut the feed. 
I'd like to apologize out there to the American people for that disturbing, anti-Semitic, transphobic liar that was just on. And remember, this episode was brought to you by Aspro's Anus Shields for that smooth, toasty anus protection. Now available in standard size or for bigger protection, the Aspro's. Thank you for watching Late Again with Zen. Ooh. Mother f***.